Here is your latest African news. Horn of Africa From Ethiopia to Somalia, the USA shifts interference to Mogadishu. The US has intervened in the suspension of Somalia's Prime Minister Mohamed Hussein Rebel by the country's President Mohamed Abdullahi Mohamed, a move that has widely been interpreted as meddling in Somalia's internal affairs. The President in a statement last week accused Rebel of stealing land owned by the country's army and interfering with the Defense Ministry investigation and corruption. The Prime Minister has since described the move as illegal, only aimed at detailing the country's ongoing parliamentary elections, as they have previously done in several African countries, the US had already taken sides and condemned the president for his decision, stating that they are prepared to act against those obstructing Somalia's path to peace. The comments, according to various African commentators, are in bad faith only aimed at interfering in internal management of African countries by the US and other Western actors. Cameroon Cameroon jails 47 opposition activists for rebellion a military tribunal in Cameroon has jailed dozens of opposition supporters for terms of up to seven years for rebellion, their party's deputy secretary general had said. The 47 defendants were arrested in September 2020 as Maurice Camto's movement for the rebirth of Cameroon and several other parties planned protest against the government of Paul Bayer in power for nearly 40 years. Police dispersed hundreds of protesters in the economic capital Dola and made more than 500 arrests across the country. Of those, 124 remain in detention according to the MRC. The government has said that those held since September 2020 face charges of attempted insurrection or or revolution. Some have already been convicted. Two months after their arrest, Amnesty International accused the Bayer government of relentless repression of opposition members characterized by arbitrary arrest and detentions. Ethiopia Marathon Motors Ethiopia inaugurates electric vehicle charging station in Addis Ababa. Marathon Motors Ethiopia has inaugurated an electric vehicle charging station in Addis Ababa in the presence of high-level government officials. The company has also rolled out 20 electric-powered vehicles dubbed Hyundai Koina and Hyundai Ayong in the same inaugural ceremony. The vehicles cost up to 3.5 million beer each. The electric cars being assembled by Marathon Motors locally are said to have a paramount importance to the country in saving hard currency and assisting the economy of the nation as well. Marathon Motors has announced plans to realize 50% electric vehicles by 2023 and full electric powered vehicles by 2025 in the country. South Africa A South African court blocks shells oil exploration. A South African court has halted oil giant shell seismic testing for oil and gas along the country's eastern coastline pending a final ruling. The decision has been held by environmentalists who fear that the sound blasting will harm marine life. She said it had paused operations while it reviewed the judgment. In his ruling, High Court Judge Jared Bloom said the shell's right to explore the waters near the wild coast was awarded on the basis of a substantially flawed consultation process. The 250 km to 155 mile stretch of coastline in Eastern Cape Province is known for its natural beauty and marine life. Campaigners argued that many sea creatures including whales, dolphins and seals would be affected by the seismic testing. Local communities who were also represented in the case say that their customary rights to the land and fishing had not been respected. Seashells Seashell signs contract for biometric passports, expected end of 2022. Seashells took a step forward today introducing electronic biometric passports after signing a contract with InGroup. InGroup specializes in the production of secure documents like identity cards and passports and for the past 15 years has delivered passport booklets to Seashells. The contract was signed by the Minister of Internal Affairs, Errol Fonseca, and the Vice President for Internal Sales of InGroup recently. Fonseca said that the introduction of an electronic biometric passport in Seashells is expected to rise the level Level of security at borders. A biometric passport is embedded with an electronic chip that contains biometric information including the holder's biological information, facial recognition, fingerprint and additional information also featured on the passport's data page. Thanks for watching. Visit our YouTube channel Tunacheki to watch our daily news reports and our website tunacheki.tv for all the latest news updates. Also, don't forget to catch the return of our show Africa in the News on our channel. 
You can directly support this new series by becoming our YouTube member or becoming a Patreon. And remember, Africa is watching.